Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 113. In this video, I'll be taking apart an attitude indicator, also known as an artificial horizon. This one came out of a Cessna. Now, here's where I'm getting a little bit confused about the production date. This shows a production date of 7, 1974, and on the side, it says April 1976, I think? Here's another label with some Aryan lead information. On the back here, we've got our ports for air pressure and vacuum. So I'm going to start pulling some screws out, and I'll be right back. So this pulls off, and there is a rubber gasket here. It's still flexible. And then in here is a screen. It's actually two screens stapled together. I did actually put compressed air in the air and did get it to spin up. It spins for a long time. And then there's a port here for a vacuum. I'm not sure on the other port. Now I've got some screws around the side and I should be able to take the back cover off. I'm also going to be pulling the front cover off at some point a closer look at the front. It is missing a couple screws up here. I went ahead and pulled the front glass off. It's right here. Next, I've got a couple screws here, and that'll probably take the pointer off. So I got that indicator off, just a little dial. And I was able to very carefully press there and slide the back out. I'm going to keep working on it until I get the back off. I'll be right back. Once I pushed it past the O-ring, everything came out. This has a very interesting story to tell that I probably will never know. There's a lot of stuff that isn't seated right and this linkage is loose. I'm just trying to figure out the path the air takes. It obviously goes in here and through here. These bearings are amazingly smooth. I'm guessing the gyro is in here. I'm thinking the air would go through here. Doesn't look like it could go this route. It would have to go this lower one. Okay, the gyro is in here. A closer look at this frame, you can see the air passage right there. This pin directs the air to the gyro, and it even has a little indicator showing where its port is. And that directs the air into here. These appear to be weights. Now I'll get into this in a minute. But let's look at how it's linked 
to the display here. We'll slide this back into the frame. And this moves up and down. And then we can do side to side, which would indicate with this. Now, let's see if we can get further into this. I gotta go find a socket for this. Once I took the nut off, that back plate came right off, and here's the gyro. I'm gonna try to get it out of here. It slid right out, no problem. I think this is about as far into it as I can go. So this came out of an aircraft, non-functional, it's never going to go back into one. And that is what's inside of a vacuum gyro. On a side note, I actually did eventually get this whole thing put back together, and it now does function. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.